What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Dutch pack trio review and builds. Van Basten, Rijkaard and Hullet. This has probably been one of the most anticipated packs that people have been waiting for. It's double boosto Van Basten. Double boosto, not even double booster, double boosto. Double booster Van Basten, Hullet and Rijkaard. Now listen, recreating that special Van Basten goal looks phenomenal there. I like the trailers that they do sometimes. I just wish that they would be a little bit kind of more... I wish there was a little bit more to them. But they are a nice introduction. They're a nice little kind of sample size of what the cards can be. You've also got an SS Rudy Hollett who's a whole player. This card looks absolutely broken. We're going to show you the best build for him as well. But Van Basten is very, very nice. I like that the trailers now, the players kind of interchange with each other as well. Uh, so it is going to be interesting and again as I said it's not going to be a case of these cards being like you know unbelievable that they're just going to be the best cards that you could ever possibly have but I do think Rijkaard is going to be seriously end game honestly I do feel like that there's a lot of cards in this game that can be end game but Rijkaard is probably the pick of them with Hullet being the most unique that they've released in a while right so we're going to just go straight into the builds I will be streaming later on with these cards and we will be doing, of course, a couple of cheeky spins as well. Shout out to OC for this. These are the cards on his builds. Or, sorry, the cards on his account here. But we will be doing our own spins in a little bit in the live stream. So you guys can follow along with the, with the spins. And hopefully we do get everybody that we want, right? So we're actually going to start with Rijkaard. As you can see here, he's got 29 levels. That gives you 56 progression points. I think a bit disappointing that he doesn't have 30 plus levels. But I can understand why. Because he's down as a build-up center back. Build-ups at the moment are extremely good, and he's got pretty much everything that you could possibly want, apart from heading, which is added as an additional skill here. I do not... I, I think aerial superiority and heading are probably the two that you want. He does have one-touch passing. He can play CB, DMF, and CMF. As a build-up, it's very, very nice, because you're going to have a defensive center midfielder if you want that, or DMF. Not quite as defensive, obviously, as an anchorman, and his anchor ver anchorman version will show you that at the end, but... I will do deep dives on these cards as well. This is basically just the builds that we're going for here, right? So this is the build that we've gone for with Rijkaard in his player progression here. So we've actually got 10 into dexterity, 6 into lower body, 5 into aerial strength, 12 into defending, and that's going to be your build. Now, this is kind of a build that's going to be an all-round version of Rijkaard, right? You can mess around a little bit. I, t I do think as well that, you know, we want to have these stats, right? So these are the key stats that we want for him. 29 levels does limit him a little bit, okay? But we want his heading stat to be good. We want his jumping, his physical contact, and his balance all to be above 80. So jumping at 85, physical contact at 85, kicking power at 85, and then balance, acceleration, heading all over 80, with then speed at 88. Now, there is one slight alternative you could make to this, which has kind of been something that I've been looking at, right? Is if you take three off this, it gives you five points. And that's going to free up maybe about two spots here for you and one into jumping. You could go that route as well. And of course, if you want to throw the boost on him then as well, you could get 90 jump, which I think will stand to this right card because it means that he's going to be more athletic. So they're the two builds. They're just slightly varied builds. One is an 88 speed with 85 kicking power and the other is a potentially 90 physical contact, which I think is probably the better build. That's what I would go with there because then you could throw the booster slot on him here. If you want to go that route, if you want to go the booster route, you could throw that jumping on him and the physical contact, which is the aerial booster, and it gives a boost to his heading as well. Or, of course, if you wanted to do it again, you could go the physicality route and have his balance, stamina, jumping, and physical contact. There's a couple that he could do there. There's also that hard worker one that gives his aggression and acceleration and physical contact a boost. So, yeah, it just depends on what you want to go with, but that's probably what I would do there. Because once you throw aerial superiority on him, you won't need to jump in as much, right? So next up, we have Rudy Hollett, who's down as a whole player. Now, this is probably the pick of the pack in terms of the, the player uniqueness of him. Definitely one of the best pound-for-pound -pound players that they've ever released. He can pretty much play any position once you train him. He can play center-back to center-forward, left wing, right wing, um, left mid, right mid, once you give him the position trainer, obviously, which I would recommend. But for his build, man, you're starting off on level one. It's just an insane card. Like, look at this card that we're going to be able to hit certain thresholds in, right? Now, also, we do have hard work given to him here, which I do agree with as the boost there. And then soul control, we will be able to kind of tie that up then as well, just have him a little bit no more nimble. Long range curler, first time shot, aerial superiority, and one touch pass off the rip is very, very nice. We could put double touch on him. We could put a couple of other passing stats on him. Low lofted would be nice on Hollett as well if you are playing him as a 
a true to middle type man in that attack in midfield. But this is the build that we've gone for that we're going to show you right here, right now for this attack and build kind of hybrid best pound for pound root hollet. So this is what we've kind of settled on with Root Hullet. Again, I'm going to be testing this out. It's a 3 7 10 10 6 4 4 3 0 0 build. Now watch the stats, lads, honestly. Apart from having 79 aggression, we would like that at 80. 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 91 kick of power, 91 jumping, 93 physical contact. And of course, that 85 balance, the 86 stamina. It's crazy, man. This ball control is 91. The dribbling is 90. Tight possession, 85. Low pass, 85. Finishing, 80. Curl, 84. He's literally... There's... Honestly, man, this is probably one of the best hole players they've ever released. That's the most unique... One of the most unique cards. Tight possession at 85 and balance at 85 with ball control and dribbling into the 90s. With the acceleration for a player this size, probably gives you one of the most... Uh, like most dominating attacking midfielders now of course if you want to go another route with him right if you want to go a more central forward route with him you could do that as well and it would be this build so it's just slightly varied we've got an eight shooting four pass and ten dribbling 11 decks six lower body four aerial strength and then one into goalkeeper one so this is going to just limit us a bit we don't have 90 jumping but we do have 85 finishing 85 heading and 90 curl with 85 tight possession and that all important 85 attacking awareness if you want to play Hollett in that role, supporting Van Basten, or if you want to play him, obviously, supporting Samuel Eto'o for a more kind of double-pronged attack. But obviously, then, as well as that, you won't have that pl whole player player ID working, which isn't a big deal. So there are the two builds for him. And last but not least, we do have Marco Van Basten. I'll make this quick, because Van Basten has one big limiter, lads, and it is his balance, right? Most of the cards that they're bringing out here now, even though he's got a fox-in-the-box play style, which is quite decent... You've given him the free kick taken, which is going to be his curl finishing and kicking power player stats all better, as well as chip shot control and heel trick. I do think that this is a nice card, but that balance is going to be a killer if you're used to playing run and gun. There's just no way around it, man. It doesn't matter what you do in this card. You can't get the balance over 80 without severely limiting the other card. Now, he does have 32 levels, and this is the build that we've gone for here just really quick. So it's an 8 into shooting, 9 into dribbling, nothing into passing obviously, dexterity 10, lower body strength 7, aerial strength 5, and 1 into goalkeeper 1. That's going to give you a couple of thresholds. You're going to have 90 plus speed, acceleration, tight possession, attacking awareness, ball control, finishing at 95, heading at 90, and jump is going to be 82, with kicking power 87, physical contact 80, stamina 80. It's an okay card lads, honestly, it's 104 overall. If you compare it with Samuel Eto'o, it just, you just can't compare these cards because Eto'o is so fast and these type of cards are so fast, you know. Um, but yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting, I think, to see how Hullet, Rijkaard and Van Basten kind of shake it up. If you have previous versions of these cards, lads, honestly, man, I don't know if they're as good as people were expecting them to be. Hullet is. He's unbelievable. He's probably the most unique card in the game. But Van Basten isn't a massive upgrade over his older card and either is Rijkaard, to be honest with you. There's Rijkaard versus Rijkaard there, Bildo versus Anchorman. Yeah, it's interesting, man. You can have a look at the stats there. If you need to pause it, you can pause it. But yeah, it's 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 an interesting one. I don't think that these cards are as like unbelievably broken as I thought they were going to be. But then again, it depends on how they're actually handling as well. That's going to be the big kind of sign of them there. So it will be interesting to see that. But that is it for me. I'll be back with the live stream in just a little bit. Hope to see you there in the chat as we do a few spins. Talk to you in a bit. Did you spin? Let me know. Peace.